Hello guys, it's 1am and it's snowing. Just going to quick go out and make sure everything's alright in the reptile room because it's getting quite cold. 16 degrees on the colder side. And I'll just quickly see what it is on the other side. So it is, yeah, about 15, 16 degrees. Well, it's really cold out there, so um, everything's alright. I think it's, it's, it's good enough for everything to... Um, survive you know it's not going to drop too much more than that but all of the underfloor heating and stuff's on so and that's the only problem with having an outhouse is keep your reptiles in so that's on 32 it's nice and warm on my feet i'm going to probably just put that up right guys since i'm out here i thought i'd do a recce and see who's out <coughs> because a lot of my tarantulas come out at night so just done this today, this was the chicken spiders old enclosure and I've sterilised everything <clears throat> that went back in there, put new stuff in there, put new plants and we'll see how he gets on in there. I've got uh, another spider in there at the minute just to see how it gets on. So my Phlogis species Goliath is not out, I saw it the other day, it's getting really big and chunky, uh, I'll try and do a video of that at some point. My P metallic is out. It's very rare that I actually get to see this spider. As you can see, she doesn't like light. She's moving away already. And we've got some Histocrates. They're all pretty much hiding away at the minute. M. Balfouri. She's obviously always going to be out because I've just put her in this slightly bigger enclosure. And she's settled down because she's starting to eat. I think she might be overeating or cleaning herself now. This one I've got a Histocrati species laticeps growing quite nicely. Chilean rose up top and she is there just at rest. My um, oh, this is the big one this is my Histocrati species gigas this is the biggest um, this one's always out at night this is the biggest juvenile that I had and as you can see it started getting into fights and eating its siblings I don't know how it survived though it must have must have killed one and the spider went around the back of it and killed uh, and bit it so it's got a lot of war wounds and it's actually shed since the last time so yeah this is a big girl about six inches hopefully she'll end up being eight inches like the big one her mum um, in this one is my cane Krakan This one is my Afonapelma species New River, and that one's obviously going to be out, it's always out. Another Histocrati species Gigas, this one's not doing too good actually. I don't know what's happened to it, I think it's over it, and it's not. Yeah, it's okay, so it's alright, it's just waiting to shed. And this one, I have got my Chromatis, just giving it a nice test enclosure to make sure everything's all good. And I'll probably end up putting a Goliath in over this one or the other one. Down here is my golden blue leg baboon, but I don't often see this one. And there's some more laticeps in this, big ones, bigger juveniles. Have a good case. And they're obviously going to be out because they're nocturnal. Let me just zoom in. There we go. Up in here is my, well, that was the old M. Balfouri's enclosure, I've moved it. Is my, um, a chilean red zebra. Let's see if any of the other big egg histocrates are out. Doesn't look like they are. No, so it's hiding. I guess see from there. No, it's hiding. Marine tank's doing pretty good. I can't see the mantis shrimp. Usually, was that him at the back? No, I don't know where he's gone. He's hiding somewhere. But I'm getting a horrible case of algae on that. I need to sort that out. Uh, my P. regardless, huge girl, she's out, prowling, there's still live food in there, see it there. Orange striped knee, a giant orange like striped knee, uh, the kind of Lasiodorides striatus, Lasiodora, uh, Lasiodora paraibana, Brazilian salmon pink bird eater, she's out. About 
cat's gone out. I didn't really want him going out. Don't want him going out here at this time. It's like half one in the morning. All right, guys, I'm going to pause the video here. Well, guys, it's really coming down now. I think we're going to probably end up with about eight inches of snow by tomorrow. So it's good that everything in the reptile room is right. Oh, there's my cat. Didn't want him going out here this time. He's never seen snow before. He's only a kitten still. He's about eight months old. Oh no. There he goes. Shouldn't take him too long to get back because it's bloody freezing out there. to wait for him to get back in guys he did come in for a second but he ran past me well, he's back <coughs> I didn't think it would take him too long to come back Guys, I think that's about the end of this video. I'll do an update on it tomorrow. Wow, that's a huge amount of snow. Still coming down. Keeping this temperature in here at least, so that's good. Yeah, uh, it's 58, 60, 70, 18 degrees. Very hard to get him. Let's try a different light mode. Try this one. Oh, it goes blue. Okay guys, here's my mantis shrimp. This is the first time I've been able to show him on camera. Um, if you have a look, he's got like orange stripes. He's looking directly at me. Hold on. So, as he goes in, I'm gonna try and capture him. Ah, oh, I just missed him. It's very hard to get a good shot of him. Anyway, there you go guys, that's him.
Well guys, it's still coming down. So it's been pretty much snowing all day now. Just been out today and bought some stuff for my reptile tanks. I've got some snails going in here for my marine tank. Uh, they should clean up some of the algae. Put a little, little um, <clears throat> piece of live rock to go in there as well, give it a bit more colour. And I've got some air plants for the drier tarantula tanks. That way then they can have a bit of greenery in them. This plant here, which I think looks really nice, will probably go in over this one, or we'll go in this one. Um, <clears throat> one of these little bottle gardens, I think these are cool. And um, that'll be for the house. And this little plant here, which will go at the front somewhere. Or maybe in there. Snails are now in, guys. So I got a mixture of turbo snails, and I can't remember what the other uh, kind of snail was called. They're really strange. They seem to have one antennae that they move about with. And they should help clear the algae problem I've got going on the top. Some in the sand as well. Hopefully the mantis shrimp doesn't eat them. creatures but yeah I think it's looking pretty cool just need to get that algae problem under wraps corals doing really well that's everything done now so my air plants are now all in this one with my flojus species for life I'll show you guys real quick I tried normal plants but it just seems to dry up too quick so I'll do air plants for the back This one just need a hide to go in here. Got loads of new plants in the Caymans' tanks. Is the last time you guys saw that? And my blue tongue as well. 